The contest is going to be uh, tested by your analysis, no polygraph. And this thing has nothing to do with the uh, Olympics or the IOC. IOC uh, the idea of drug testing and professional bodybuilding in the NPC has come back up. And of course, whenever I have questions or anything I need to know about bodybuilding, I go to my coach, IFBB Pro former Quincy Roberts, currently runs a big NPC promotion in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're gonna see what his response is to some organizations thinking about adding drug testing into the NPC. Well, when they're doing a drug test competition, I think the only way you really can have a truly drug test competition is to do your analysis or some type of blood test that's really going to truly let you know if these people are not taking drugs. Having lie detectors and sworn statements, anybody can probably pass a lie detector depending on how good the lie detector machine is. But your analysis would truly be the only way that they can show if, if there's no uh, anabolic supplements in their body. Do you feel like an NPC organization doing a urinalysis test conflicts with the overall mission of the NPC? I don't think it does because, you know, basically most of the NPC shows are not drug tested, but for them to have a drug-free competition to truly be a, a pro champion show, I think, needs to be done because that's the only way the other people that's not doing the show will say that legitimately is a drug-free competition that they are having to pass the analysis test. For more, check my channel, The Fitness Q, and or you can email me at qrelite at gmail.com or call me at 336-987-4007. And please subscribe to my channel and like on this video if you like the information you got today.